This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. I am now trying to figure out how long Pammy was pregnant for. New evidence from Bad Batch Episode 1 helps it, and there's a very, very minor spoiler for that. But I don't think you can mention it because it's been over a week and a half since it's released. The best way to do this is to work backwards, starting with Empire Day, which Mug and Leia were born two days after, so it's a perfect reference point. Looking at when Empire Day is, it takes place on the equivalent of May 23rd in Legends. And I like the Wikipedia page in Legends, Season 5 of the Clone Wars is immediately followed by Revenge of the Sith. But there's a larger gap between the two events in canon, so I think that Empire Day happens closer to when it happens in Rebels, which is the release date of that episode. Not exactly when it happens, but that is November 17th, so it could take place later in the year. And for a baby to be born, they need to be there for about 8 months minimum to be born without any major problems. But 9 months preferably from what I've seen online, Luke and Leia were likely conceived after Ahsoka left the Order. And I think there are two events that fit perfectly in for them to happen at. And these moments are either the end of the Clovis arc or the, the time that takes place during the flashbacks and Thrawn Alliances. Why do I think these two times are the best ones? Well, if we take a look at it, Padme and Anakin just got through a hard point in their marriage after the Clovis arc, and may have conceived Luke and Leia then. They were also away from the galaxy in Thrawn Alliances, with the only person there being Thrawn, who knew nothing of Jedi customs and ways, and as far as they knew, would never go to the main galaxy. So they were able to be closer together. They also could have conceived them on the way back from the mission. So, let's just say that these take place within the same few weeks, and we have a good starting point from here. So now we need about 8-9 to nine months to pass, which is of course the safest amount for a baby to be born without having any birth problems. And since they didn't have any, we have to guess what this is, is it? So, and the reason I think it's the trip to happen is because there's still a lot that happens, including the boss arc, which has to take place over a few months, and the Order of Sieges, which also takes place over a few months. But I can confidently say at least six months have passed there, because in the Bad Batch episode 1, Tex says the Bad Batch have been away for about 180 standard days, or 205 adjusted days, which is about 6 months, closer to 7 if you go up to 205. Looking at this, we know that it's likely that Echo would have been with them, because he would have been able to be checked out for his injuries by the Kaminoans, or they may have got a few days off after rescuing Echo from the Nexus, or the possibility Echo was not with them, but I think what if Echo would have said it's been longer for him, or Tech, being very specific as we know he is, and been more technical just found that everyone but Echo has been there in 205 days, so or 180. So I feel like it's very safe to assume Echo was there. Also, when he entered their quarters, Echo did say that he has to still get used to the smell, implying he has been there before, but only briefly. I may have missed at this moment, but I feel like. There's a good reason that Dave Filoni put this quote in, and that's to tell us how much time passed between that arc and Revenge of the Sith, and not just a throwaway line. And considering that Padme showed for his pregnancy in the original arc, it would be safe to say that we have six of the nine months accounted for. But also, let's try to figure out that one gap between the Thrawn and Clovis arc storylines happening, and when the bus arc will both begin and end. And this is going to get us close to the 8 to 9 month range, because built in the fact that Anakin was at Coruscant, 
that we need to so guard, which happens before the outer room sieges, and the fact that Anakin says he's been waiting for a lifetime and regrets his death, makes it seem logical. Also, I would say that a month or two has to have passed in that boss arc and storyline because a lot of stuff happened, way too much happened within a few days or weeks, so it has to be a month at a minimum, and probably two months without even feeling like it's stretching it. And there's one last fact we need to bring in. Revenge of the Sith. It could take place at a minimum over a week or two, and at the longest, it could take place over a month, or maybe two months. So I feel like we are definitely safe, because now we have 9 to 10 months at a minimum if we're going with lowest estimates for each. So there's definitely enough time for him to be born. But it's also, I could be wrong, and if I am, the earliest it could be is the festival on Naboo. But I do not think that is likely, because you have had to show signs of pregnancy during the Ahsoka arc and more. And since those events are pretty close to what I've mentioned, the Thrawn alliances and those arc are close to the Ahsoka one. The Ahsoka arc is a possibility right after that, but I just feel like it's other two a little bit more likely. And really, that's it. So, we almost could guarantee that Padme was pregnant for a reasonable amount of time and not just pregnant for like a week and somehow gave the kids birth without any real logical explanation. But tell me what you think and look out for the most of my videos this week in my week of scheduled releases. And there's going to be at least one more of these this summer, possibly two, but I am excited to see what you think and if my estimates are correct or if I'm way off. I think I'm going to save that versus video if I do do it for next week, and I'll be doing this week, tomorrow, the show I think that could replace Batwoman, and the day after I'll be doing Butcher and Zemo's character comparison. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please like the video, leave some comments, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends, and may the force be with you.